Hey faithful few, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna kind of combine my 13 and 14 weeks pregnancy updates just like I did with my eight and nine weeks, partly because I already filmed my 13 weeks and it was really bad, <laughs> but also just because I feel like to do the symptoms justice, I need to kind of acknowledge the fact that I'm having these symptoms or I had these symptoms more on the switch over from 13 to 14 weeks right around those. So I also kind of wanted to talk about in this video why morning sickness has actually been easier with baby number two than with baby number one. But let's get started. So um, for 13 weeks, the baby's about a size of a lemon. And then for 14 weeks, the baby's about the size of a peach. So right around three inches, um, like an ounce. Yeah, we'll just say an ounce. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna kind of dive in. Let's just get started with the symptoms that I'm gonna kind of group together for 13 to 14 weeks because again, they were shared between the two weeks. I have been having a lot of um, cramps and sometimes it's when I have to do a BM and then sometimes it's just stuff is happening in my stomach, stuff is moving, whether I just ate or I need to eat. I've just been having cramps at various times when I know my stomach is doing something. And um, it was kind of like night and day. Like I went from just being sick, just trying to survive to getting a little bit better. And then all of a sudden it was like, boom, I'm gonna start having cramps. And kind of serious cramps that made me say like, am I having a miscarriage? You know, I think moms like us who have had miscarriages in the past, wow, it got really dark in here. The sun is like going in between clouds. Can you turn on the light, I guess? Okay, I don't know if that helps or if it just makes everything yellow, but let's just move on. So cramps, yeah, kind of serious cramps. And I think that's just one of those things for us um, previous miscarriage moms is we're always gonna worry about our kid. And I was just thinking yesterday about how I can't wait for the 24 week mark when the child is finally what the doctors consider viable and worth fighting for um, if I did have a miscarriage. So Cramps, definitely. I've noticed a huge increase in exhaustion. My, I've just been exhausted beyond belief and kind of overwhelmed with exhaustion at points. And so it's kind of hard to know that I can't have a whole lot of caffeine, but also not be able to get through the day without a nap or caffeine and, you know, having another kid to chase around. I can't just take a nap whenever I need to. Um, but genuinely being like, I can't drive right now. I'm so tired. I can't really like stand or do anything. Like I'm beyond belief exhausted. And it's just part of pregnancy. If you've watched my other videos, I struggle with nausea and morning sickness pretty badly. Misery. So you win some, you'll lose some. I trade walking around in misery to walking around not knowing if I'm gonna throw up in two seconds or not. But yeah, I've definitely noticed there's been a distinct change in my morning sickness where all of a sudden I'm throwing up substantially more, but I'm not like walking around feeling miserable all day long. And I remember feeling that way with my first um, pregnancy, but I remembered that after I felt the change. Speaking of, I'm gonna go get my Powerade because I need it. A girl's best friend. Fun random fact, I used to hate Powerade and Gatorade as a kid because it's like a little salty, you know? I could not handle it. Anyway, um, I have also noticed there's been an increase in discharge, um, like a huge, huge increase. <laughs> um, I don't think I need to say more than that. Moving right along. And then last but not least, I have noticed that my libido is up, but most times I can't really act on it because I have just thrown up and I need to take a shower or I smell like throw up or I have throw up breath or whatever. All right, I forgot to show you my bump. <laughs> Let's do this. There she is. All right. All right, now let's dive into why morning sickness has actually in the long run been easier the second time around. I lived in fear. In my first pregnancy with my first child, I just lived in fear, knowing that it was probably going to be really hard and you know, wanting to have a lot of kids and not knowing how I'd ever survive having morning sickness and chasing after another one. And I get those comments all the time. Like my friends will reach out and just say, I don't know how you're doing it. And 
in part, I don't know how I'm doing it either, but also in part, it's actually a little bit easier because I'm forced to get out of bed. I'm forced to not feel bad for myself. I'm forced to push through. And I think that's the blessing of the second time, the third time, whatever, is you don't have the ability to lay in bed, feel guilty or bad for yourself or moan and you know whine and um, your world doesn't revolve around you anymore. And I don't really think I realized I was doing that at the time, like babying myself and you know, moping around, but I definitely like laid in bed all day long. The only times I remember there was days where the only time I got out of bed was to go on a run so that I might feel better. And nowadays, it's just, I can't do that. Like life has to move on. I just want to encourage any moms out there who may be first time moms and don't let yourself live in fear of what's to come because future pregnancies will hold their own problems. <laughs> this is your pregnancy. This is the day that you're living in. Make the most of today and what Whatever pregnancy that you're in and continually stay positive look for the things that will keep you pushing on when I came into this pregnancy it wasn't exactly planned or scheduled I definitely didn't feel like we were in a good life stage for it um, and we definitely didn't feel like we could throw anything else on our plate and so when I realized I was pregnant when I started getting sick tangle sorry when we came into this pregnancy, I knew I was gonna start getting sick. I got really nervous because I was not ready. So I just chose positivity and just continually told myself like, it's gonna be okay this time. You're gonna be okay. Like you're gonna make it through. It's gonna be really awesome. And you're not gonna get as sick as, as last time. And even though that's not true, I just kept telling myself that and it helped me stay positive and push through those really dark times when you don't want to stand up because you know you're going to throw up, but you have to stand up because your child's awake and they're crying for you to get them out of the crib. Or you're holding your child and trying to throw up and um, you're afraid you're going to drop them or trip or something like that. And so those are some dark times that I've had to face going through severe morning sickness and being a mom. I don't have hypernemesis, but you know, going through significant morning sickness and being a mom as well is not easy. I think the Lord definitely equips you to be able to handle it um, every day as it comes. And I really truly believe that the Lord has brought me to have the conversations with other moms that have encouraged me or empowered me. Like the moms in my church who told me about Unisim and B6 and the, that combination and how it's helped me so much more than any prescribed medicine has ever helped me. And so if you have any questions about that, comment down below and I'll love to share that information with you because it helps me a ton, ton, ton. But just things like that, that have encouraged me and kept me going through the weeks. And you know, morning sickness lasts for quite a while. You know, that's two, three months of your life where you are miserable. I remember my first pregnancy just kind of being like, this is hell. <laughs> this is the worst. I cannot imagine. And I remember just like not being able to comprehend making it three, four more weeks of being miserable and people online saying, you know, you only have the rest of your first trimester and then it should go away. And me just being like, I don't think I can make it that long. Your first time around, it's harder to see just how fast time flies. And two, three months sounds like a lifetime. But this time around, two, three months sounds and feels so much quicker. Even nine months seems so much quicker. I mean, I feel like knowing that my kid is coming in six months just blows my mind and I don't feel ready. But I remember my first time around feeling like that was so far away. So anyway, it's just different. And so um, if you're a first time mom and you're already worrying about your next pregnancy or how you'll make it through morning sickness the next time around, don't. Cast your cares on the Lord for he cares for you. Oh, the children's sermon at church this week was so good. She talked about, she had oil and she poured it in a cup and she said, this is worry. Do you see how, you know, heavy and, and um, I don't know, nasty it is well she poured some like water that had some food dye in it and she said now this is trust let's see if they mix can you worry and trust at the same time and of course oil and water don't mix and so she made the really good point of you can't trust the Lord and worry at the same time you have to cast your worry away and place your trust in the Lord you can't fully trust God and walk in faith with God, but also be holding on to a worry. That's not fully trusting God and having faith in God. And so I encourage you with that same truth that encouraged my husband and I. Anyway, I hope that encourages you. If you're going through morning sickness for the first time and you feel like it's never gonna end, or if you have happier nemesis, or if this is like your fifth child and you're going through morning sickness again and you don't know how you're gonna make it through the week, trust in the Lord and trust, trust, trust in the Lord. Don't let the worry cripple you because sometimes worry is the hardest part of going through hard things. All right, I'm gonna 
end all this because it was a little bit of rant. I hope this video was helpful or it just sparked interest or conversation. That's what I want here. I don't want to just be talking at you guys. I want to start a conversation. So comment down below if this made you think of anything or if you have any kind of comments or if I said something wrong or whatever. I love you guys. You guys are so encouraging and so supportive. Um, and I just pray that the Lord blesses you this week. And um, if you're pregnant, I pray that the Lord blesses your child with proper development and growth and good health. And um, yeah, comment down below if you're pregnant with me. My due date is Halloween.